Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be going over a kill scoreboard so that it displays who has the highest amount of kills in your plot out of the players that are actively online or out of every player in the game that's ever joined if you want. So if I go and kill this person you'll see that on the side I've got one kill. So that's pretty basic and uh, let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna start with a player event kill player so let's get out a player event place it down, go to death events, and then we need to click on player kill player, which is the skeleton skull. And so this will run a line of code when a player kills another player, with the default target being the person that's the killer. So we need to now, we're going to set a variable for how many kills the player gets. So we're going to place down a set variable, numerical actions, and click on increment. So this will increment a variable every time a player kills someone. So we want to get variable, and we want to call this percentile default kills. So this will keep track of how many kills a player has had. And we're going to shift right click this to save it, so it saves between people joining. I'm going to put this in the chest, and then we're going to go get a number 1. So it increments the variable by 1 every time a player gets a kill. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set up the scoreboard part. So let's go player event, plants over events, player join game event, then get out our game action, go to scoreboard manipulation, and we want to start with show scoreboard sidebar. So what this does is it shows the little scoreboard on the side. So now we're going to go game action, and we're going to title it. So we're going to go set scoreboard objective name, and we're just going to call it kills. I'm going to put it in the chest, and so that will name it code blocks, game action, scoreboard manipulation, and we want to click on set scoreboard score. So this will set a score on the side, like this. So we want to title it, uh, hang on, let's get out a text variable. We're going to title it and 7 percentile default. So this will just display the name. And then we want to display it as the variable percent default kills. So if we join the plot now, it'll say galaxy dimension zero. So now we have to make it so when you kill someone, the score goes up. So we're going to go get out our game action, and then we're going to grab out the percentile default. This has to be exactly the same as what's in this chest, and the percentile kills. We're going to go game action, scoreboard manipulation, set scoreboard score again, and we're going to just put these in the chest again. Exactly the same. So what this will do is it will change the scoreboard score of percentile default to a certain number on the side. In this case, the amount of kills. So now we need to give the player... Let's just give a player a sword so we can kill easily. So give items sword... And so now we're just going to go in play mode quickly join and play on my other side. So now if we go back, you'll see if we pay attention to the side, you see that it goes up to 1 when I kill someone. But now, we need to clear it so when a player leaves, the scoreboard will clear their name so it doesn't stay. So you'll see, if I quickly get killed, you'll see that when I die, I can... Uh, they that player can leave the game, so we've just left, and you'll see that on the sidebar it still shows up with um, the amount of kills they have. So we can correct this by just removing the value when the player leaves the plot. So if we go plot and server events and then quit game event, we can do a game action, remove scoreboard score. And so we need to grab out the exact score from here, percentile default, and put it in the chest. And so now, whenever the player leaves, it will tidy up your scoreboard a bit better, so it only works with players that are on the plot. If you want it so it works with anyone that's ever joined, then you just need to remove this bit. But yeah, this is pretty much how you do it. By the end of this video, you should have these three code lines, or two, depending on if you want it to display for the people that are actively on the plot or not, in which case just get rid of the quit. But yeah, 
This is a pretty basic concept, and if you have any ideas for tutorials for the future, please leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.